2,000 metres. On the poly, they sent on their way from the 2,000 metre marker. Nobody wants to go. Good idea with the white cap. Naughty Jet is along the inside. Modern Spot is third. Eco Storm has the blue cap, and that's fourth. They are followed further back by Royal Colours, Green Sleeves, Orange Cap near the rail, and then Victory Emblem. Victory Emblem's racing about five lengths off the leader at this stage, and Laborno's the trailer. And it's good idea setting the fractions. There's no pace on, though. Modern Spot is racing in second. Nordic Jet is third. Eco Storm is fourth, and Royal Colours just switched off at the rail. Victory Emblem is on the outside. Laborno's the trailer, and that's racing about six lengths off the leader. Good idea, continuing to control the pace by one length, Modern Spot second, Nordic Jet is back in third position, then Eco Storm. Royal Colours is back in fifth, only four lengths off the leader, and then comes Victory Emblem and Laborna's the trailer. At the 900 metre marker, and good idea, continuing to lead it, Modern Spot is second, third place, Nordic Jet, Eco Storm. Royal Colours just four lengths off them in fifth position, a length in front of Victory Emblem. That Borner continues to trail about six lengths off the pace. As they move to the 500, they're about to enter the straight, and good idea, still the leader. Modern Spot's the first one to challenge. Eco Storm coming around them. Nordic Jet gets a nice split. Royal Colours still about three lengths off the leader, then Victory Emblem, La Borna. Top of the lane, good idea, Nordic Jet. Modern Spot is towards the outside, and Royal Colors just looking for that split. Still got running in it, and Eco Storm on the outside. Just look at Royal Colors, though. Under the hands, coming now to tackle Nordic Jet over the last hundred. Victory Emblem, those making a race of it. Royal Colors goes, though, and it's Royal Colors from Victory Emblem. But Royal Colors won it. Victory Emblem second, Nordic Jet third. Modern Spot ran fourth. So one, two for the Paul Gatsby yard. Well, at the 300, you could see Sean was just posing, and at that stage, it looked race over. So Royal Colours just gets a punch or two out, and they win it 1-2 for the Paul Gatsby yard. The rich vein of form continues for Roy Moodley, and they win it well. Victory Emblem runs into second, Nordic Jet runs into third, and that fourth position goes to Modern Spot. Further back in the field is La Borna, and then Eco Storm, followed by Good Idea. So, Royal Colours. Well, you've got to give some also very, very good credit to trainer Paul Gatsby. Just look at that. There's a small gap, but he's sitting as still as a sat statue is Sean Cormack. And Royal Colours comes on to hit the front under the hands. And then he'll just ask for it to quicken up now as Victory Emblem, Modern Spot, try to make a race of it. One reminder, starts to drift slightly, but then goes on to score. And I'll tell you what, from the Maidens, now six in a row, one of the most improved horses in the country is Royal Colours. That's the eighth and last, Craig Peters signing off. Well, we've just seen Royal Colours come through for the sixth occasion. Six wins in a row, six on the trot. It really does seem to get up oh so, or move up so well, so easily through the hands of Sean Cormack. And the stable must be over the moon. Yeah, Wesley, we're really over the moon. Um, just well done to Roy, well, well done to Mumsy. And also well done to Robert. He ran second in this race too. His horse was a little bit unlucky. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. We can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, great race for the stable, one two. Yeah, one two, lovely. And is Paul uh, in Joburg for the sales? Yes, he's in Joburg at the moment. Well, I'm sure he's watching six in a row. Congratulations, if you wouldn't mind uh, passing on uh, those thanks to, to um, Paul. I will do. Thank you so much. Now uh, let's get Sean. In Sean, you've uh, ridden this horse five times for five winners. It won its uh, maiden on the, I think, the 10th or 11th uh, start. And then since that, six in a row. Yeah, um, he's just he's just a, a really uh, special little horse in his own right. You know, he's um, he's, he's just been a wonder for me. Uh, he's done everything I've asked him to do, and he's done it with with style. 
Um, yeah, obviously you've got to ride him in a certain manner, um, but uh, I, I just love him. He, you know, I came today and uh, I didn't I think I had the strongest card, but uh, I knew I'd end it off well. Of course, and you say it needs to be ridden in the correct manner. You've worked out that manner because that's now five on the trot. And he really seems to move up so well. He gets to, uh, he gets to the leader oh so well. Yeah, listen, you know, I looked at the race today and I, you know, I know it's a little bit funny, but I didn't think the race was going to suit me today because I thought I'd be there, be a little bit too handy and, um, you know, obviously get there a little bit earlier than what I like on him. And uh, just, just to add to, to obviously my troubles was, uh, you know, Ke Keegan's also had stopped on the fence. He wasn't following through, so I had to follow uh, Donovan and, uh, and I was opting for my run on the outside of Donovan and, and uh, the apprentice was, was sort of, you know, rolling around a little bit. And I was a little bit worried that I, you know, I might have to check him and, and get balked for a run a little bit. So, um, so I chose to go, go secure the gap and, and secure the run and then just hold them together. And, and, and it worked out nicely. You know, um, I was fortunate enough to sit next to Donovan and, and wait, wait till late in the race, the last sort of 100, and then uh, ask him for a little bit of an effort at the end. And uh, you know, I, I just can't speak highly enough for, for Beth and Paul. Um, you know, they've kept the source ticking and it's, it's not an easy thing to do. But, but, I mean, I've seen champions get beaten uh, trying try to achieve what, what the source has done. And, and he's been placed very well and he's been prepared very well. And just full marks to them. Uh, you know, the record of their horses at the moment just speaks for itself. Uh, thank, very special thanks to Roy because I think they were going to go for the, the Michaelmas and I said to him, please don't. Uh, it's, it's not what the source is looking for. Uh, it's not, not his style. And uh, they opted to miss it and, and go for a race like this. And this is what you need. You know, you're going to get the, 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 the best out of a horse like this. And eventually, he's going to get to that level, hopefully, eventually. And, uh, and as I say, just full marks to everybody involved. You've probably been asked this question after every one of its runs. Where to from next? Is there another win in the bag, possibly? <laughs> Look, I think, you know, it also depends on his rating, you know. If, you know, the handicappers, obviously, he's got his reasons for, for obviously, marking the horse up at, at the rating that he is. And, uh, and as I say, as long as he's not hammered in the ratings, he'll, he'll keep giving his best. And, and, you know, the staying races aren't, aren't overly strong. Mm. So, you know, hopefully he can keep uh, maintaining his record. And, um, and eventually he's going to get to one of those, those feature races. He's, he's, he's there now. So let's hope that he can get to one of those minors and, and, and maybe pull one of those off. But uh, he's just, you know, he's just doing what, what we've asked him to do and, um, and uh, you know, he's, he's, he's giving everybody a lot of fun. That's what it's all about, Sean. But I must say, top ride, very patient, and uh, you got this horse over the line, so keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Uh, full marks to my sponsor, Highlands. They, they, I can't speak highly enough about them. And they, they're having a nice run too, which is awesome. They, they're obviously a great bunch of people who, who do a great job, and, uh, and just thank you very much to them. Great. Sean, enjoy your evening. Thank you. Let's get Mr. Roy Mudley in a game. I'm going to say I'm going to sound like a stuck record. But Roy, I said it on uh, last Tuesday. I said it on Friday. It's not often we don't see your colours in the winner's enclosure. Here they are in a very special ones at that six in a row. Definitely, you know, six in a row is something else. You know, I never expected the horse to win six in a row. You know, this horse was actually bred by me. Yes. I, I bred this horse and, and the mother is by Western Winter. And it's a very good uh, breed. But uh, winning six in a row, you know, it's something else. You know, all credit should go to Sean and Paul also. Paul did a good job and his wife, I think they did very well and they groomed it up to win and, and Paul was very confident. He said, no, no, they must go to the course today because the horse is ready to win again. And I told him six times in a row. He said, yeah, don't worry, you go there. We'll have ten times in a row with this one. This is a very good one. Yeah, and it's very hard for the stable. I mean, it, it won its maiden in July. They've kept it ticking over yeah. and it's now, uh, now November. Mm. So that's a good five months that they've kept it ticking over and it's one every time. I mean, you must be over the moon. Like you said, you bred it, you owned it, and this is a special one for you. Definitely. You know, we saw to run it uh, last week. Then I said, Paul, no, I think it's too soon, you know. Just give it a break and then uh, let's take it from there. Then, then he put it on for, for today. He only put it on because there was no horse sickness uh, vaccine available. Otherwise, it, would, it wouldn't have been running today. But, uh, well, it was good that there was no sickness, and then today it won. Correct. And then I must also congratulate you on your, on your big win yesterday. Oh, definitely. You know, we had a good win yesterday, and we were confident. But, uh, well, that's another us, you know, together. Yeah, that, that's very good. Uh, at the moment, I think that's the only three-year-old uh, best in the country. 
I would, uh, I would uh, agree with your sentiments, Steve. It was very impressive yesterday. Yes, very impressive. And the betting was good also. <laughs> and uh, I think the guys made some money on it. And which is good, you know, it's good for the punters also. This is all about punters, you know. If the punters make uh, money, that's when I get happy. Otherwise, it's, it's no good. It's for sure, Roy. But I, I must uh, congratulate you having a really good run. And when you put a lot into the game and you get this much out, it's always great. So f for you, congrats. Thank you very much. Awesome stuff. Enjoy your evening. There we've heard it from Roy Mudley and uh, the Gadsby stable as well as Sean Cormack. That was so impressive, I must say. Moved uh, under the hands of Sean Cormack, moved up really well, got there really easily, and then followed through with the effort. That is a really special win for the stable and the connections. That's six in a row. Sean Cormack's partnered that for five of its victories. That closes up the meeting here at Gravel Racecourse, the 2nd of November, a Sunday. And that's gone the way of number three, Royal Colours. We'll see you back, I think it's next Friday, for Racing at Gravel.